Are you going to allow? Okay. So I'm called Sophie Sims, I'm 19, and I really like a lot of different art forms from 3D, textiles, installation, um, definitely experimenting a lot at the minute, especially with the conceptual art. So I'll, I'd probably say my style's definitely still developing. What inspired me to start drawing was definitely being young and seeing creative members of my family drawing and sketching, painting and even sewing. Um, that definitely inspired me because like, they were really good but they never did anything with it. Uh, so I decided to just start drawing and just really enjoyed it. My ambition is just to make stuff, um, whether I get an income out of it or not. And I just want to enjoy it and get it out there. What keeps me motivated to carry on is definitely studying art. Um, I have a lot of really amazing tutors and technicians that I learn a lot from and still am learning a lot from. Um, so yeah, I guess just the, the want to learn and improve definitely makes me continue to carry on. My ambition in art is to just make stuff, um, not necessarily for an income, although it would be nice, uh, but just because I want to and because I love what I'm doing. But as a career path, uh, I'm looking to becoming a tattoo artist. It's just something I've been interested in doing for a really long time. I think um, to earn my own studio one day would be incredible. Unfortunately, you'll get a lot of people telling you that being an artist isn't a real career, and you'll definitely get a lot of people telling you that being a tattoo artist isn't a real career or real art. So um, definitely get a lot of mixed reactions when I tell people what I want to do. It definitely does knock your confidence, especially if it's coming from your family members. Um, when I first told my parents what I wanted to do, they were a bit like surprised. I've always used to be really academic at school, and I went to a different college to study psychology and sociology. So when I came here to study art, everyone was a bit like, oh, all right. <laughs> a lot of artists now definitely use social media. Um, I personally use Instagram a lot to get my work out there, just to post it. And it's really handy to have like a mini portfolio in your pocket that you can access at any time. Um, it's definitely given me some amazing opportunities. Um, worked with a local store called Mr. Come Luna and just for having the Instagram handy, um, I got a really great opportunity to design some stuff for them. So I uh, got some really good feedback from them as well, which is always really encouraging. Um, but I would say that getting feedback in person is a lot more meaningful than feedback online because you can sort of read what the person's saying a bit better, um, they can help show you what they might do instead, um, you get a lot of really good suggestions. A lot of things influence my art, mainly things that I'm passionate or curious about. So recently I've been doing about ocean waste, which is just one of the things that I found really interesting and once I researched into it more I found I was quite passionate about it. Um, but when I'm drawing it's quite different, sometimes I just pick up the pen and draw whatever comes into my head. So I guess there's a meaningful sort of route and a less meaningful route. I don't feel that collaborations stifle my creativity because it's definitely a great opportunity to learn from the other person or people. Taking it as a learning experience is better than not having it at all. On the other hand, if the collaboration was about something I didn't agree with or wasn't very passionate about, if I wouldn't be proud of the work, then I'd probably not want to do it. It'd probably have to be something I agree with or can get behind quite passionately. But I'd say I'd probably have two types of creative process, and one's where I just pick up the pencil and start drawing, start seeing what comes out of my head and onto the paper. And the other is where I either have a brief, uh, a brief or a subject matter, and I jot down ideas relating to the subject or the brief, um, do a lot of research because I think it's important to be informed on what you're going to be creating the art about and then it's important I think to have a message behind the work or an idea that you want to convey especially if you're doing conceptual, conceptual art um, which is what I've been working with recently.
What I would say to someone wanting to be an artist or to study art is to definitely go for it. Don't let anyone's negative opinions hold you back from wanting to do art. Studying art is really helpful because you get introduced to a lot of different art styles, a lot of different medias and if you're not sure what you want to do, studying it is the best way to find out because you just do everything. Once you find what you enjoy then just keep doing that. I think that freedom of expression is really important um, for my development as an artist because without the right to speak my mind freely uh, there'd be a lot less passion put into the artwork. I also feel that things like protest art would pretty much just not exist so things like Banksy which is obviously very well known for its controversial views um, on the government and politics. Art's really powerful for changing things that happen in the world so if a piece of art is produced and people can get behind it the public agree with it or want to push it forwards then you know, there's a chance that it can change things politically or even more. I want to get my work out there to influence people or even just to introduce them to new ideas. So, for example, the ocean waste um, installation piece that I've done recently, that I created that to make people more aware of the plastic waste that gets dumped into the ocean and its negative effects on the wildlife and even us when we then eat the fish that have to live in that environment. So yeah, I think it's really important that if you are going to go down that route that your artwork has some sort of idea or message behind it. It's not necessary for all types of art forms but yeah, that's one I enjoy. Art to me means many different things really. Um, I like to appreciate art that is just there to be beautiful, so like wallpaper um, is art in my eyes. Um, but I also think that art, what art means to me is um, just a way of expressing yourself, a way of expressing your opinions and wanting to introduce them to other people. Um, and I think it's a really great way to do that. Thank you.